Alright, hello everyone, Simon here. Welcome back to our playthrough of Shadowrun Dragon 4. Let's continue. So I think all the missions with our teammates are complete, except... I don't know if we need to follow up with Dietrich on Alexander. I don't know if we need to follow up on Blitz. Because Blitz has this thing where he keeps, he keeps trying to look for his ex-girlfriend. We, we told him to do it. And then the ex -girlfriend, his ex-girlfriend told him to stop, and then we told him to stop. So, I don't know if we... Like, if there's anything else about that. Hold on, let's go back real quick. I haven't asked Beatridge about Alexander for a while. Right, he's got nothing. We told him to stop chasing after his ex-girlfriend, because his ex-girlfriend told him to just stay away. And I think we should respect that. Yeah, no, okay, nothing. Never mind. We're running out of dialogue, and we're running out of predictable content. I think we're almost done, so we've got this mission to blow up one of the, uh, blow up a building. And then after that, we're probably gonna go talk to Alice, and then we might get into the, in the end game by then. Alright, assemble the team and travel to the OTK International Offices to tap Knight Errant's communications in preparation for your run against AS technology. Okay, so there's like two missions here. Uh, Alright, Glory, Dietrich, Iger. Fascinating. So she's still... she's got 12... This is still only 4 damage. What's her strength though? Her strength is 6. So the weapon is strength plus 4, so this is 10. Supposedly. Dietrich is more or less the same as before. Iger has now, now has this thing. 15 damage. Rifle. Capacity 34. I mean, the shotguns only damage 14. So this is just straight up better than the shotgun. <laughs> I don't know why she's still carrying the shotgun. But I think that means that she can't carry my rifle anymore. Earwig. OTK International is a small-time software developer, and it shows. The company's main office is crammed up against the back wall of a massive shared office park, surrounded by competing businesses and larger corporations. A steady trickle of dead-eyed wage slaves flow in and out of the company. The office park's main entrance is overflowing with hired security, but your forged keycard gets you past them easily enough. A few minutes later, you are walking the winding corridors towards OTK International. You are only a few smashed computers away from putting Amsel's plan into motion. Right, so that's me. I still can't use a better gun. A better SMG. I should have gone assault rifles. Assault rifles are just better than SMGs. Um, Glory, we can give her a rifle, but I don't think she's gonna do anything with it. Uh, the grenade launcher is only 12 damage anyway, but it, it is kind of AoE, right? It's not very good. <laughs> it costs 2 AP to reload. It takes a whole turn. Oh, wait, no, Glory can can stim herself, so she can reload and fire in one turn. Let's give her the grenade launcher, not that we ever use it, but maybe we can think of a situation where that might be useful. We're gonna give him the flamethrower, which is a 1 AP 20 damage attack. Probably like better than this, for example. 1 AP 6 damage. Right, and we can give him like a whole bunch of Medkits. Probably not going to use them, but if we need to, it's there. Alright, so she has no space for an, an assault rifle anymore. Gonna give her... some of this stuff. Unspanked Karma. 
we don't need to do that right now. Passing through the main doors of OTK International, you find yourself in a stretch of industrial hallway. Apparently the company is too small to warrant such amenities as a lobby or greeting area. The rest of your team is waiting for you at OTK's side entrance, outside of the office park and beyond the reach of building security. Letting them in should be as easy as opening a service door. Alright, so we have to like, uh, go there. Am I? As you pass by the open door, you see a middle-aged wage slave working at a console. His back is facing the doorway and he doesn't seem to have noticed you. Ignore him and keep going. You keep walking down the hallway, half waiting for a cry of alarm. A few seconds later and you, you're satisfied. The wage slave is completely oblivious to your presence. Alright, so we're... Let's not... Get into any trouble until I get my team in here. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> Alright, hey guys. What's up? What's up? What's, what's going on in here? Nothing, we can't go back there. Alright. But hey, standing in the hallway is a janitor, a tired looking woman in her mid 30s. She is staring at you, her eyes wide with surprise. You can't help but notice the alarm panel set into the wall just behind her. With a flick of her wrist, she could make your job infinitely more complicated. Oh, excuse me, you startled me there. A look of confusion crosses the janitor's face as her eyes flit from you to your teammates to the door that you just let them in through. You are suddenly aware of how very out of place you look in this building, and the furrow in the janitor's brow tells you that she has made the same observation. Who are you exactly, and how did you get into this building? Aha, corporate etiquette! I'm Neil, they just brought me on as a QA tester for the Ares project. <laughs> Oh, well, welcome aboard. From what I've heard about QA testing, I don't envy you. The guys back in the server room will appreciate your presence, I'm sure. Uh, oh, I'm sure that will make quite an impression. <laughs> Thanks, I'm just glad to be here. Things are rough out there, and it's nice to have it's nice to have a job. She nods grimly. You're telling me. My husband has been unemployed for over a year now. He takes care of the kids, so that's something... So that's something, but money is pretty tight. She gestures towards the open open door. We'll step on in and head to Mandy in reception. She'll get you logged into the system so you can clock in and out. The janitor smiles at you warmly. <laughs> uh, thanks. What was your name, by the way? I'd love to tell management how helpful you've been. <laughs> this is pushing it a little bit. But you know what? Let me do this. Oh, I'm Jessie. Jessie Sanders. She waves at you. Pleasure to meeting you. I'm sure I'll catch you around. <laughs> oh, we gained the karma? We gained the karma for lying. Nice. Alright. So, uh, how much trouble can I get into? Can I trick everybody? Also, is there loot here? There's no loot here. There's this guy. Oh, he's gone? Alright, what's back here? Oh yeah, loot! Yeah, there you go. There you go, desk! The desk before you is well kept. The papers are stacked neatly, the drawers are closed and the terminal is shut off. Search the drawers. The contents of the drawers make it clear that this desk belongs to a supervisor of some sort, a Mr. Stephen Williams, according to the nameplate. You find plenty of employee performance evaluations, schedules of upcoming meetings and deadlines, and other decidedly uninteresting files and papers. One of the drawers, however, is locked. Investigate the locked drawer. The drawer appears to be secured by some sort of electronic lock. The desk itself, however, looks relatively flimsy. You might be able to force the drawer open. Curious that we can't get Iger to force the drawer open, because she's just standing right there. Anyway, examine the lock further. There's no visible keyhole, no input pad, and no card reader. The lock must be controlled through the computer terminal. Alright, turn on the terminal. The terminal boots up quickly. 
Please log in. Crack the password. Logged in as S. Williams. Unlock the drawer. With a sharp clicking sound, the mag lock releases and the drawer pops open. Amongst the various other items in the locked drawer, you find the supervisor's ID badge. <laughs> I am now S. Williams. Oh, can I? Oh, I do, do have enough now. So I'm gonna spend karma one more range combat. Right. Not that it... I mean, we don't get any um, extra points. Oh, we don't get any extra skills, I mean. But we do... So this improves the chance to hit. And this improves the crit chance. Actually, I want to like look at... I mean, I chose SMGs. This is aim shot. Auto reload. Reloading ammo costs zero. Oh, that's kind of good, actually. Dead eye shot. Cool down three rounds. Double tap. Chain shot. Disarm. I mean, pistol has a lot of tricks to them, right? Shotguns. Wide load. Wider than normal spread. Reduce critical chance. Shred armor. Rifle. Full auto is just... <laughs> on three points, you get full auto. Dead eye. Headshot. I feel like rifle is just the best. Like You, just, you, get, you get full auto. But maybe the pistol is not that bad. Right, maybe some of this trick stuff. Although you have to get to 4 before you get auto reload, and then you get the trick stuff further on. Right? I, I feel like rifle is just the most sensible. Inspect. A well used calendar is hung on the wall covered in notes and appointments. June the 29th has been circled in about half a dozen times. June the 29th has been circled about half a dozen times. What does that mean? The filing cabinets have all been labeled in neat block printing by hand. They are all locked. The board is arranged in a grid of names and tasks, most of which seem to be in the completed category. In the corner is a note, Lucy, birthday, Tuesday. Do not forget bookcase. The bookcase is neatly organized and alphabetized. On the upper shelf is a framed picture of a young blonde girl with braces and a huge smile stretching across her face. So these are the clues for the password for the terminal, right? Probably Lucy, right? But uh, we have decking, so we don't have to care about that. Alright, how much trouble can I get into? <laughs> There's drones right there. Mm. Let's think about this. Although, I do have an ID card, don't I? Can I use the ID card on the drones? The drone's not gonna set the ID card, right? Hovering silently, the drone sweep their optical sensors over your stolen ID badge. A few seconds later, a synthesized voice chirps out of the nearest drone speaker grill. Level 2 authorization detected. Proceed. <laughs> the drone... The drone scans the card and not your face. <laughs> well, that's a security liability. Halt! This is a restricted area. The guard raises his weapon. His voice is brimming with excitement. Show me your ID now. Yeah, but the ID doesn't fit me, does it? Does, is it a photo ID? Security, I don't have a company ID. I was sent here by Night Errant Dispatch to check on the status of the, the patch. Anyway, anyway, here. It's right here. He squints at your badge, scowling. After a few seconds, he lowers his weapon. Sorry to have bothered you, sir. You are cleared to be here. But stay where I can see you and don't leave this room. Alright, don't worry, I won't. <laughs> executive door. So the janitor let me go through there to the executive room. So I don't actually have to come here. Right. I'm just here for fun. Are we supposed to go there? Do you think you 
Do you think I get in trouble if I jack in? Alright, let me just jack in. <laughs> Select a decker to jack in. Alright, I don't know if uh, I'm gonna get in trouble for this. Huh. Okay, there they are. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Well, that's rather ungood. Let me do that. And then let me do that. Assassin ESP. And then let me, like, get in cover. You, AoE, those two guys, and then blap one of them. What do you actually do? Assassinate a powerful attack program directed at one target for 175. Well, it doesn't kill him. Ah, stop hitting me, dude. Right, I'm gonna heal. And I'm gonna blast some people. With, uh... AoE damage. Okay. Why are they so accurate? Why is that? 81. It's two doors. Uh, 73. Eighty-one. No, seriously, why are they so accurate? Okay, so there's two doors here. I'm not sure which one I should go into. This one was double guarded. I don't know if that's significant or not. Oh, nope, every door is double guarded. Let me heal myself. Let me step forward. Erosion. Uh, you assassinate. Uh, please don't miss. Alright. Now, what is through this door? More enemies, of course it is. That says Finance Dirta Data Server. That's gonna be loot, right? Oh, I'm gonna lose that guy at this rate. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's AoE attack these two guys. Oh, don't. Let me run through. Can I heal my programs? Ah, never mind, they're hitting me. 
258. There you go. Um, assassinate? Oh my god, that was 85! <laughs> <laughs> Can you please don't suck? Why is <laughs> yeah. Alright, everybody sucks. 